So guys, I am back with another Lords of the Fallen video and today guys, I showcase to you how you get one of the best weapons in the game, the Skin Stealer Spear. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave another like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this is one of a few weapons in this game that there are S tier in that scaling. One of the best scaling weapons in this game, a top tier weapon now as you know guys weapons in this game do have those tier ratings with them uh, some of them go up to an s but there's only a few in the game that do this this is one of them s is by far the best it goes from s then a then b then c all the way down to e being the worst now i know you've been on youtube and you've seen some of these s tier weapon videos and these s tier build videos but when you watch them there isn't an s tier item in sight that's because there isn't many of them and people just think they're just a label something in S tier to get views and it does work. I mean, some of these builds are incredible, but in regards to them being S tier, I mean, they uh, uh, use S tier items. It is completely false, but this is actually an S tier weapon that will go perfectly with an S tier build. Okay, so the Skin Stealer Spear. This is a weapon that has a S tier rating in that agility, but at the same time, guys, will also offer that fire damage with it. It's a pretty cool weapon. I'm not going to lie, if you're into spears, this is definitely one for you. Now, you can get two of these. One of these you can pick up, but the other one, as far as I'm aware, from reading on Wikipedia, you will have to farm it, and I'll show you how you do that as well. Okay, so first things first, you're seeing the weapon on screen now, guys. You can see it right there. It's got an S tier rating in that agility. Now, I believe you get this S tier rating at a level 9 when you're upgrading this weapon with your Linda. But I just go full out. Got to be a level 10, guys. It really has. So here we have it, guys. So first things first, to get this weapon, it is an end game weapon. There's no two which ways about it. You will have to have played the game, almost completed the game. So first things first, we need to go and get a key. Now the key is called this thing right here. Now if you've already got this, you haven't got to worry about this part. Uh, some people will already have this. If you haven't, this is what you got to do. So the key is, uh, let's see, it is this one right here, the Sunless Skin Key. We need to go and grab this. I'll show you exactly where this is located. Okay, so we need to go to um, it's Upper Cow with this one right here, the Vestige of the Forgotten Garden. So we need to warp here. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, so I am well aware, guys, that this is actually a, a lift that you open up from down below. So to get to here, guys, to get to be able to use this lift, you actually have to come from down below. And you have to take out a boss at the same time. Now, to go that route, it's quite a long run. I'm actually just making this on the basis that I think most people that are going to be trying to get this are at that near end game anyway. So I've already been down into the sewer, kind of like drainage, kind of like, Toxic key, you know, you'll, you'll see it when we get down here, guys. There's actually a boss down here that you actually have to defeat before you get access to this lift. I can't remember what his name is, but I'll put him on screen now. Uh, but once you defeat this boss, guys, you get access to this lift to take it up. Then you can use it to come back down here. So, yes, you will have to have already um, explored this area down here to have access to this path I've taken and show you guys today. So, yes, so we are down here now, guys, and we're going to go this way to get this key. So come here guys, it's quite simple to be honest. I've already picked it up, but I'll show you exactly where it is. So in here guys, you can just take out these enemies over and pass them, it's up to you. No, you don't want to go that way, you want to go this way. And then you just want to go up in this lift, I mean this, in this ladder right here. Take it to the top, unless you get your ass boot like that. Let me up your pain in the ass, there we go, up the ladder. Now you want to go into that umbrella. Just right here. And then, guys, the key will be right here on this body. Pick it up, and then we are good. Now we need to go to another vestige. I'm just going to quickly kill myself. You don't have to do this. You can find your, you can drop a seed and then down if you wanted to uh, in the bus arena out there. I'm just going to kill myself, so I'll go back to the vestige to make it quicker for the video. So now, guys, we have to go to... Um, it is within the mines area. This is where you first gain access to, I believe, the... Ben beneath a Bramis castle i actually didn't come this way um so i was actually late getting this weapon i actually went a different route i believe for to Bramis castle uh, at least i remember it that way anyway but i mean there's so many different paths in this game i can't remember where i've been or where i haven't been but there's Bramis castle it's not there we want to go to this one right here it's called the uh, sunless scheme mines 
And this is where we use the Sunner Scheme key. So yeah, but yeah, this is a great, great weapon. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, I ain't, ain't I mean, spears for me ain't the greatest, but I know there's many people out there that love these spears. So from this vestige, guys, you wanna come this way. Come through here, this is where you use the key. The key will open this door. And then guys, you just wanna come this way. And then we're just gonna run, jump down here, just like so. Now run past all these enemies, do not worry about these. Do not worry about this. I mean, I come here about an hour ago and I cannot remember being here already. I mean, I may have already come this way. I, may, I can't remember, guys. I just want to take a left here and then just want to come around here, guys. Ignore that guy there and that, that item. The weapon will be right here. Right here, just pick it up. Now, what's great about this is, and this spot, is this guy right here. It said on the Wikipedia I read that he also drops this weapon. So if you want to farm a second one so you could dual wield this, I mean, you could do that. So you'd have to kill this guy right here. Miss weapon. That was just damage, man. I might have to try and dodge. Just just take me out, but yeah. I mean, you could just farm him. You could go into the lava, then respawn back at that vestige. If he drops it, you're good. If he doesn't, uh, you're good again. Just keep farming. Just run up. Uh, just keep, obviously, coming backwards here. And just, just do what you got to do to get this thing. But it is as simple as that. Now, I personally, I like there's a better farm for me um, in regards to being more efficient. And I'll show you exactly where that is. I mean, you can use this spot, but I use a spot in Bramis Castle. I mean, you have, it takes a bit of a trek to set up. But once you have it set up, you are good to use it. And I'll show you exactly where that is. But either or guys, you can use this spot. If you want to get a second one of this again, you have to farm that enemy there, according to the Wikipedia. What I will say is I farmed it for about an hour. I did not have it drop. It's either a rare drop or I don't know, guys, you tell me. So you want to come to Bramis Castle. Just like so if you've got this uh, open. If you haven't got this open, farm the other dude. But if you have got this open, come here. Best ease of the bloody pilgrim. It's just a, a quicker route, in my opinion, much easier to do. Um, so yeah, we'll show you this. I'm just going to set myself up, guys, and I'll cut the video because I don't like using spears. Okay, so we are set up and I'll show you what I use guys to increase my item discovery rate. So I firstly I use the bounty for ring. Again, I've just searched YouTube for where this is. Absolutely incredible. Okay, it increases that uh, item discovery. And then I put on my pumpkin helmet, which was a part of the uh, pumpkin event we just had. This again increases the item discovery rate. And I've applied the new light rune to this shield here, the shield of whispers. I've applied it three times. It increases my item discovery rate. Uh, rate. And if guys you got these, I mean I used all I had like the paws, I can't remember what they're called now. There's two different variants of them. One boosts it significantly, one just boosts it slightly. But I used all of these guys on the same enemy and I could not get this weapon to drop. I, I desperately want a second version of it. I would probably keep farming. Uh, because I've been told again like it drops from this enemy, the skin steal out uh, enemy. I've also seen on Wikipedia that it drops from the enemy, so I'm guessing it does. It's just a rare drop. So from the vestige of the bloody pilgrim i'm going to actually showcase you guys the path to this if you like you haven't been here before so initially guys you want to come around this way and this is what you gotta do so come around here and just like so take a left now again if you've already been here there's going to be short because you will have opened up but we're going to bypass them for the people that haven't been here before so this is the original path you would take to get to this path so run past all these enemies bounce past him just like so. Oh my days, that frame rate drop is terrible. Jeez, oh my game. Come on, fix yourself up. Fix yourself up. And you will need a seedling for this as well, by the way, guys. So you'd need to uh, plant a anchor between the arms. So keep that in mind. So when you get to this room, guys, you'll notice that there's a big staircase here. Now you need to spin this around. And to do this, guys, you'll come this way. So run down this, this hallway. Ignore this big dude on your left. He's going to take a swing at you. And on your right here, there will be a mage you need to take out. Now, once you take out the mage, there's a load of red crystals here that vanish. Then you need to activate that lever there. And that suit, that uh, staircase will spin around. That's what you need. Then you run back to the staircase, guys. And I'll show you now. And from here, we need to get another key. And this key is called the royal key. And I'll show you where this is. So this, with this uh, staircase, I spam around after you access that lever. Run up here halfway. Then you want to take a left through this door. Then you just want to come this way again. There's going to be enemies here. You can dodge past them. Or get hit like me. 
But the key, guys, will be on this bookshelf right about there. So let's grab that, guys, and you're good. Now we're just going to run back. Hopefully not get killed. Can he get past? Oh, he gets past. Now we're going to go back to that staircase. And now we want to go down it. I mean, the, the frame rate lag is so bad. <laughs> this is Xbox Series X, by the way, latest patch. I mean, I've suffered from day one. But hey, I'll say, so we've gone back down the staircase. Now we're going to take a left here. And we want to go into that umbrella to get rid of this fire. Just like so. Run up the stairs, there's going to be a dude at the top who's going to try and throw your ass. Ignore him. And then, guys, you'd use the royal key to open this door right here. And then, guys, you can just rest. Plant the seedling right there, guys. This is what you want to do. So now we're just going to rest. Now, from here, it's easy to farm. This uh, skin stealer enemy is literally about a few meters, well, about 20 meters away. So you come down here, guys, from that point. Remember, put all your item discovery things on if you plan on farming this. Because it's just, well... It hasn't helped me, but again, you guys may get lucky and get another one straight away. And then guys, just take these guys out down here. There's, there's two of the dogs, and then there's just a big guy right there. So I'll quickly take him out. Die, motherfuckers, die. And you, boy. That's just a big guy to take out. I would normally just use my... Uh, my javelins, to be honest, it just makes things easy. I mean, you can just stand in that door there and shoot them from out. Again. So I've got so many of the weapons. i got the uh, full armor set. i got the cleavers. i got absolutely everything. I just haven't got... I mean, i got the shields. I mean, I've farmed it quite a lot, guys. I'll show you. i got so many of them. The cleavers, i got two of. I love to have two of every weapon. That's what it is. I've got two of the knives, which are at the top here. Two of the knives. i got the full armor set. Numerous times, there we go. Three of the tops. I mean, I farm for quite a while, guys. I got it all, I got it all. And from here, what you do is, and what I do is anyway, I go into Umbral. If you ain't in Umbral already, it just resets it. Run through here. Jump off here. Die. Respawn at that uh, anchor between realms. And run back here and take him out. It's just a way more efficient way. But again, if you haven't got to Bramish Castle yet, and you have the previous uh, route unlocked, where we picked up the weapon initially, you can always farm that skin stealer right there. But it's completely up to you. It's a bit more of a run, to be honest. But hey, you got to do what you got to do, guys. And again, from here, you run back down. Now, what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't enter Umbra from here because there's Reapers in this room that will follow you out. It just makes the battle a little more of a pain in the ass. But there we have it, guys. This is how you get the skin stealer spear. This is how you get multiple of them. If you want to dual wield them i'm going to keep trying until i get a second one of it uh, but that's what you got to do guys and there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one